Hi guys, welcome back. And if you are new on this channel, you're welcome. So in today's video, we are just going to whitening the teeth and the eyes of our model. And before we start, I just want to say thank you guys for watching my content, liking my content, subscribing, and commenting. I really, really, really appreciate that. So, and if you are new on this channel, subscribe and smash that bell button so that you don't miss my next video. Yeah, so let's do this. So this is the photo that we are working on today. We are going to whiten in the teeth and the eyes. So let's start. So we'll come here on adjustments and then we are going to add the photo filter adjustment here. And then on the filter, we are going to choose the cooling filter here. And the next thing, we are going to add another adjustment and this time it's going to be the black and white adjustment. So we are going to come on adjustments and then we are going to pick the black and white adjustment here. And then I'm going to add another adjustment and this time I'm going to add the curve adjustment on top of the black and white adjustment here. Let me drag this down. So on the curve adjustment here on the middle, I'm going to drag this and then I'll push it up a bit like so. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to clip this curve adjustment to the black and white adjustment. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to right click here and then clipping mask here or I'm going to select this clipping mask icon here or I'm going to hold control hold G to clip it. I'm going to clip even the black and white adjustments to the photo filter adjustment. I'm going to hold hold control G to do that. And then I'm going to reduce the opacity of the black and white adjustment to somewhere around to somewhere around 30% somewhere here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to invert the photo filter layer mask. I'm going to hold control and then I to invert, meaning to hide all the things that we've done, all the adjustments that we've done. And then I'll come here on the tools and then I'll choose the, the brush tool. My opacity is at 100%. The flow is at 100%. The foreground color is white. So if I paint the white brush on the black layer mask, I'm going to, to show all the adjustments that we did. So I'll come here and then I'll choose the brush and then I'll make it just a little bit bigger and then I'll zoom the photo just a little bit in and then I'll start painting like this. And then I'll paint here. Then I'll paint here. Let me zoom it in a bit. So I'll come in the eyes. So I'll start with this one. Then I'll paint this. And then paint this one, then zoom it in like so. So I'm going to group all the adjustments. So I'll come on the curve adjustment and then I'll hold shift and then I'll select the photo filter adjustment here and then I'll hold control G like so this is our before this is our after this is our before this is our after so if you feel like the effect is not that much you can make a copy of this same group you can duplicate it control J on the keyboard if you want it to be like this 
uh, but this is too much i want to delete it if i feel like the effect is too much again and then i'll reduce the opacity of the entire group i will reduce the opacity to zero and then i'll start pushing it up pushing it up until i'm satisfied i'll go somewhere around 80 percent i'll zoom it out just a bit and then i'll do the before and after before and after i think it's too much let me reduce it to maybe around 60 percent and then i'll save it if you don't want to make all the adjustments that i was making the black and white adjustments the cave adjustments the the photo filter adjustments of the action which you can download the link will be in the description the teeth and eye whitening you can just download it and use it if you are new on this channel subscribe and smash that bell button so that you don't miss a video on this channel thank you guys for watching see you in the next video peace out